Whoever believes, whoever, wala pong sapilitan. Hello everyone! Today, I want to share with you um, aking reflection patungkol sa isa sa pinakasikat na Bible verses and that is coming from John 3.16. Okay, so let's get to it. So, uh, the verse, it starts off by saying, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. This verse comes out, um, palagi nyo siyang maririnig during Lent season, especially Holy Week. And uh, you can hear it maybe in a sermon, uh, in a preaching, televisions, radio. Meron ng kanta about this eh. For God so loved the world, He gave us His only Son. Mm, beautiful song. But anyway, most of the time, we this verse is quoted in such a way. Uh, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, For God so loved the world, gaya, gaya nga nang binasa natin kanina, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Uh, what Now, what most or what some people don't know is that hindi po ito kompleto because the verse has a second part and it says that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So if babasahin natin ang buong verse, it's gonna say, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. As I read this verse, I came to a realization that um, parang meron siyang dalawang characteristics which are opposite to each other. This uh, particular verse has, a, has an inclusive and exclusive characteristics. Bakit ka mo? Inclusive siya because of the first part which is for God so loved the world. Ang world po dito is tayo. Tayong, tayo na mga tao. Tayong makasalanan na tao. Alam na tayo ng Diyos that He gave His only Son. Ngayon, inclusive siya because sinabi sa second part that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. Meaning, kung sino lang po ang naniniwala, eh, siya lang yung makakatanggap ng eternal life. Um, the word believes here implies that we should follow Him. Sino yon? Si Jesus. Hindi tayo pwedeng mamili kung ano lang yung pwede nating paniniwalaan. It means that we believe everything that Jesus teaches. There are other people who believe that Jesus is just a teacher, a prophet, a good man, but they don't believe His divinity. They don't believe that Christ is God. So, remember po natin, uh, at one part of the Bible, Jesus said that I and the Father are one. And uh, there's also a, another verse in the Bible uh, wherein Jesus said, nung tinatanong siya ng mga Pharisees, sabi niya, before Abraham was, I am. And then the Pharisees pick up stones para batuhin si Jesus because they knew that the term I am refers to God. So, obviously, Jesus claimed divinity. So, the word here, believes, is saying that we fully believe everything that Jesus said for us to receive the promise of eternal life. On another note po, kung mapapansin natin yung verse na to, whoever believes, whoever, wala pong sapilitan. So, it's your choice whether to believe in the sacrifice of Jesus or not. Okay, so the offer of God is free for all, but you have to accept it. And meron din pong mga nagsasabi na Jesus is just one of the ways. Kumbaga, merong idiomatic expression na nagsasabi, all roads lead to Rome. Nakita ko lang yan sa internet. <laughs> na merong iba't ibang way papunta kay Lord. We should remember and I think I'm gonna leave you with this verse. Alalahanin natin na sinabi ni Jesus na, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I hope na meron po kayo natutunan sa ating sharing for today. Please leave a comment. And if you like the video, 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be updated whenever there is a new upload. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.